being exposed to Hubikov, how long a time period do you have to wait where you are free from that exposure having Hubikov? How long would you have to wait? So you're not going to come down with whooping cough and those symptoms. Generally, the incubation of whooping cough can be as short as two or three days, but can be as long as two weeks. And so if there has been recent exposure, I would look at a two-week window where symptoms may still develop. Beyond those two weeks, it's far less likely that you'll develop infection from that primary exposure. It could sometimes be as much as 42 days too, could it? It has been seen to be as long as 42 days. Sometimes it's difficult to know when the primary exposure was as opposed to when the actual exposure to that given patient was. Since whooping cough will go from patient to patient, from member of class to member of class, and the period where a patient may be contagious may be before it is obvious that whooping cough actually was developing in the primary patient.